My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. And today I'm viewing Homage Lyric Man Edit Parfum. This is 260 pounds for 100 mil. So that is, I was calculated to 50 because that's what my range is sold in. That's 130 for 50 mil. The notes are bergamot, lime, rose, angelisa, orange blossom, galvaman, spicy ginger, nutmeg, saffron, pine, sandwood, vanilla, musk, frankincense. I wonder, does do those notes mean anything to you? When I sort of, I was thinking this day, thinking about when I write down notes, do you, can you sort of perceive how that would sort of smell because I, I think if I didn't work these raw materials I wouldn't I wouldn't have a perception of what nutmeg in a formulation does what galbamon what rose what all sort of this sauce does so I've just looked and this contains Lyrol and Lyrol is now prohibited and I think it's in the EU and UK and I think you had to use up all your stocks and then you had to reformulate it. And the inky name is hydroxy isohexyl 3 cyclohexyl carboxy aldehyde. I need my eyes tested. Lyrol is brilliant. It is a lily of the valley raw material. It's so cheap. And of course the replacement is very expensive. I've met people who Kumaran gives them an allergy. I've never met anyone who has a Lyrol allergy. So I'm going to be daring to put Lyrol on my skin. Do we have our bottles of homage Lyric Min et Parfum? I've engaged with a high self. Let's get testing. So this smells like strong. All their work is super, 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 super strong, radiating, long lasting. Very, very clean, very smooth. And it's got a blue like quality to it. it sounds like rose bubble bath. Maybe, and I think this is a masculine rose. And maybe they are trying to take rose and make it masculine by adding in dihydromersonol to make it more masculine. Dihydromersonol in formulations can make things smell more masculine. And that blue quality is a little bit off-putting, a little bit unpalatable. So this is clean white musk. And this is absolutely would be galaxolide, ethylene brassolate. And that's really binding it to the skin. Their stuff really doesn't come off the skin. So it's sort of when you buy it, you apply it and then you get them with your day and then you apply it in the evening. So that's something I applaud. I love uh, the black iris actually. I thought it was excellent. This just smells a bubble bath to me. It's just a little bit uh, disappointing. So this is clean white must this is the major raw material at like the core helping to smooth it out and there's such a smoothness with this the pear like quality is from the top note musks so that's what i'm detecting is that sort of pear quality i mean it's radiant long lasting if you like sort of rose fragrances to be a bit blue i can't get away from the bubble bath the sort of smell lemon to help give the elevation through the whole formulation. This is so dense that you really need the sort of citruses to help elevate it. This is sort of has that top note to it, which is a phenolethyl alcohol and lemon. And it's been smoothed out with major form materials and some either sandal or bangalore. They smell quite similar in a formulation at low concentrations. Vanillin and ethyl vanillin, but it has that bubble bath smell to it. Patchouli and I absolutely would have patchouli and I can't imagine a rose formulation not having patchouli in because it just goes so well together. I think this one's going to be an acquired taste and I think this one is going to be one of the things that you wear and it's a signature fragrance and it's yours. I don't think this is mass appealing actually, but I don't think any of theirs is mass appealing. That black iris. Now the Reflections Man, that, that was really mass appealing actually. That was phenomenal. And the black iris, that was, I really liked that because that was like a cool smell. I don't particularly like this sort of freshness combined. The freshness is juxtaposed against that sort of heavy nitromus sort of smell, the galaxolide. On to my final thoughts. So the first two marks are whether the fragrance is legal, safe, compliant. Absolutely, this is legal, safe, compliant. Do I think it's worth the price? 130 for 50 mil, 260. Yes, I think it's absolutely worth the price. So it gets two out of two. Uh, longevity protection. This really doesn't come off the skin and this house is amazing at keeping things 
on the skin and getting that radiance. So they are, it's just phenomenal. And because my genetics are, I think it's 55% Middle Eastern, this house is really suited to my skin. So this just, it's just phenomenal. That is the plus side. Last four marks are sort of whether I like it. So my most favorite thing in the world is rose absolute. I love uh, rose, Turkish rose. And uh, I don't like rose center flora. And I don't like rose otto. That's just my personal, what I like. Always with rose based fragrances, I'm always a little bit harder on them because it's my most favorite thing. And uh, rose and oud, I think are what I'm always gonna be a bit more critical at because it's my favorite thing in the world. There's something I like about it. And that is the cleanness, that is the smoothness. So this is so, so well crafted, but there's something I really don't like and that's unpalatable. And that's that bubble bath, that sort of pear-like quality. It has freshness to it combined with heaviness, but it's kind of like, I keep smelling it and there's something about it I really like. So it's kind of like, initially, I really, really don't like it, but I do really keep going in and smelling it again. Anger marks the 7 out of 10 and the 3 marks can be offered just purely because I don't like my rose fragrances like this. I kind of think it could be called something different or a different demographic. I don't know, but, but it's not appealing to me. It is that smoothness, the over smoothness combined with that sort of that... I can only describe it as bubble bath. I cannot get away from it smelling like... Uh, it just reminds me of bubble bath. But... On a plus side, this is excellent. It is long lasting, well worth the money projecting, but it's absolutely not for my taste. And I don't think there's really anything wrong with that because to tick all the boxes, uh, it's, I've got to like it as well. And really, I think if I wasn't completely honest with you, I don't think you would trust me as much. And I think it's really important that I tell you my honest opinion in all of it. Again, I want to say it's not because it's not bad. It's just not to my taste. But I think there's people out there who would absolutely love this sweetness combined with this freshness combined with this latching on thing. But I do want to say that um, yeah, it's a little bit unpalatable for my liking. I, I really think if you like this, you're really going to like it. And I think it's your signature fragrance. I think it's a signature fragrance. I don't think it's mass appealing. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm going to leave it. So hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. Hope you're staying safe and well and I'll see you soon.